What's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to get into how to stand out if you are one of the many real estate agents in your market or any industry. If you're a salesperson amongst many salespeople in the same industry, in the same market, how do you stand out? There's many, many things I want to get into in this video. So I'm just going to dive right in here. And if you're looking for some more inspiration, I'm going to link two more videos below. One is, is how to stand out. It's where I'm actually screaming at the camera and you'll really get a lot of value out of that one. Also, if you're a brand new real estate agent looking for a motivational video to help you build more confidence, I'm going to link a video below for that. Okay, I want to approach this in two different ways. I want to talk to you about how to stand out amongst so many agents. I want to, I want to show you a different way to look at that situation. And then I want to show you how to actually stand out. Things you can do that will actually make you sound different than all the other agents or salespeople or whatever you are. I want you to sound different to your prospects where they actually feel that you are different and you are the one that they want to do business with. Okay, so let's take real estate for example because that's most of you who are watching my channel. All right, let's take Manhattan. Okay, there's 80,000 agents with only 40,000 transactions. All right, now this is round number speaking. There's probably, I think there's like 44,000, there's probably 80, you know, thousand transactions give or take per year. Okay, when you look at that, you think, Oh my gosh, there's 80,000 agents and only 40,000 transactions to go around. All right, that's an average of one half of a transaction per agent. Okay, and you think, oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no way. How am I going to stand out? How am I going to even get one deal? The average is a half a deal. All right, so I want you to think about that for a second. I want to reverse your mindset here. I want to turn a 180 with the way you think about these type of situations. To me, this is a glass half empty mentality, all right, because this is the way that I look at it. When I look at the population of Manhattan, I see 8 million, okay, and when I see 8 million people that live in Manhattan and only 80,000 agents, it makes me feel like there's not enough agents in Manhattan, okay, to service 8 million people. Okay, and so this is the way you got to think about it. When you think of business in terms of relationships, not transactions, okay, when you think of the possibility of the amount of relationships that are available to you, okay, it creates this moment of aha where you realize that business is 100% unlimited. There's no way you can talk to all 8 million people and see what you can do to help them, go through the process, create those relationships, build that brand. You can never get to every single person in that market ever. So you only got 80,000 agents and let's face it, you know, maybe the top 10% of agents really understand and how to sell, okay, and maybe only the top 1% actually understand what I'm talking about with this world of abundance that we live in, okay, so you got maybe 800 agents in Manhattan who understand that business is unlimited, okay, and now your job is focused around how many people can we, out of that 8 million can we reach, can we talk to, can we get to know, can we create a relationship with, can we create a bond, can we make them feel comfortable with us. Can we create that trust? Can we build our brand with? Okay? And so, you know, when I used to roof houses, you know, and Builder was building, you know, maybe like 300 houses in a subdivision, well, that's going to take us years and years to, to roof every single house. All right? That's the way I think about this. Like, this is a job, okay? Our job is not to try to create transactions. Our job is to help as many people as we can help. Through that, we're going to do so many transactions and we're going to we're going to like we're going to reach our goals and go beyond our goals when we operate like this. So when I look at a market like Manhattan or any market, okay? This is any market. I look at the population or the number of properties in the in the market. I'm thinking, okay, that's my job is to contact all these people and let them get to know me, me get to know them, and see what I can do to help them. I'll never accomplish that entire task ever in my career. I'll never get to the end of that task of contacting every single one of those property owners. There's no way. You'll never get to the end. So you have enough work to do for the rest of your life, regardless of what the market does, forever. And it doesn't matter how many agents are in your market. It's not enough to service every single person there. 
And so if you are one of the very few who view the business like this, okay, and you look at it as a relationship building business, how many relationships can I put in place? How many people can I get to know who I am that know me, like me, trust me, and will do business with me when it comes time to do business? See, that's what you want. We're looking for people that want to do deals now, of course, but the ones who don't want to do deals now, those are even more important because there's going to be more of those than are the ones who want to do business now. Okay, there's going to be a small percentage that want to do business now. Sure, let's live off those. But this larger percentage of people that don't want to do deals now, but love you enough to do a deal, they're just not ready, they'll contact you when they do and they'll send all their friends and family to you because they know you like you, trust you, you didn't try to pressure them into anything you created a relationship with, that's how you build a big business. Okay, so we conquered the, the different view, okay, the different point of view of looking at a market in terms of abundance, okay, and the glass is half full mentality. All right, I want you to get away from looking at number of transactions, number of agents, number of listings, number of agents. I want you to get into looking at the number of households, the number of the, the, the population, and realizing that it, it's a C. Okay, it's an ocean. You cannot do all the business. Nowhere near it. The industry is this large, okay, it's massive, and we're not even a little dot, okay? Zillow is not even a little dot, okay? None of these companies are even close to the size of this industry. This is a relationship industry and it's something that just will never be taken away, all right? you know, old school techniques, you know, are, are you, are you going to get left behind with the new technology and digital and video and, and all the different things coming? I'll tell you something that's never going to die, and that is people liking you, liking your personality, you being the hardest worker, and them be, knowing that they can depend on you to, to work the hardest and get the job done, right? That's what's going to matter. I don't care what era we're in, Okay, I don't care what technology comes our way, people are going to want people who know that they can trust to get the job done and will work the hardest. Now let's move over to how you can actually stand out with what you say, your actions, so on and so forth. So I think a lot of the just basic things that we can do to stand out is by being the hardest worker. Everyone loves a hard worker. Okay, And if you actually are a hard worker, which means you work hard even when no one's watching, all right, people know, okay, you can tell people that are working harder, okay, the hardest workers have the biggest results, okay, you can just look at the results and say, okay, they're a hard worker, all right, so when you put the results together with the, the content that they're putting out through their weekly email, through their social medias, wherever you distribute your content, okay, that you're building your brand with, Okay, that's on a consistent basis, that's original content, you're building your brand, they can tell based on those two things. Okay, he's not just putting on a front by posting all this stuff on social, he actually produces results. <laughs> this guy's the real deal. See, that's what we want. So, so how we can actually come across as different and stand out is by not asking people if they want to buy or sell, but by asking them if there's anything we can do to help them Okay, and what that does is it is it 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 opens a, it makes the prospect let their guard down. When they let their guard down, they let you in. They open up to you. They tell you all kinds of things they might not tell you otherwise if you're just trying to do a deal. But if you're there for their best interest and not your best interest, they let you in. They tell you everything, and now you're actually able to help them because you have information. You have data. You know why they're trying to do what you're trying to do. You know what their motives are. When you know what their motives are and you know why they're trying to do what they're trying to do, then you can actually help them and create a game plan around what they're trying to do and help them do it. So that's how you stand out. It's your approach that you're there to help people, right? Genuinely, and you talk to them like they are your friends or family. F-E effect, I call it. Okay, it's when you give the effect that you are an extended part of their family or one of their best friends. That's how you should talk to them. And that's what's going to make you stand out. So I want you to think of your market as glass half full, unlimited possibilities forever. And I want you to stand out with your approach of just wanting to help people. After that, the name of the game is to talk to as many people as you can. Whoever talks to the most people wins. 
and has the most connections and starts to build that brand. Okay, so I hope this video helped you a whole lot. Please click that like button, click subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're not part of an absolutely free real estate coaching program, I'm the first completely free coach. You can sign up in the link below or go to zero2diamond.com, complete the 90 day action plan, and then me and you will get on a one on one coaching call and I will promote you to gym and we'll start moving you up the ladder. So I look forward to that call. I look forward to seeing you in the program. Let me know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Leave me a comment below. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go. Okay, now I gotta go. So I want everybody to get on this wall because I wanna take a big picture. One, two,